the reason why the scepter is so important and the lineage of Christ is because before Jesus came, right, what's the most powerful thing? I was just talking to somebody this morning. They were going through spiritual warfare, and they said, as soon as I called on the name of Jesus, that thing broke. Because there's so much power and authority in the name of Jesus. But this is why the scepter was so important. Because before the name of Jesus was on the earth and attainable, God worked through items. Watch this. The staff of Moses. Why was it so important? When Moses pulled out the staff, what did he do? He threw it on the ground. It turned into a serpent and it ate up the serpent of the magicians. So God was operating through items. What did he do? He told them when he parted the Red Sea, he said, pick up your staff and wave it, and the seas are going to part. So before there was the name of Jesus for you to be able to pull on, God was operating through items. And this is why the scepter was so important. See, because a serpent is actually not a bad thing. When we think about the serpent, we associate it with Satan, but it's actually not a bad thing. Isaiah chapter 6 talks about the seraphim angels, which seraphim stands for a fiery serpent. So there was a class of angels that were serpents. And it's, the Bible says that a, 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 a seraphim flew down to Isaiah and he took a live coal from the altar and put it on his lips. And then the seraphim said to him, now your iniquity is purged and your sins are forgiven. So that means the seraphim had the, op the, the ability to forgive sin, but he had to use an item. You see, there had to be a coal. There had to be an item. Same thing happened when, why do you think the Bible says that Moses, when the people were afflicted in the wilderness and they were being bit by the serpent and people were dying, the Lord told Moses, take a serpent, put it on the pole and lift it up. So the serpent had the ability to also heal, but it had to work through an item because Jesus had not come yet. John chapter 3 talks about that. And Jesus said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And then the next verse is the one that everybody knows that says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. But before that, he says, just like Moses had to lift up the serpent on the pole, so shall the son of man be lifted up. So before his name was on the earth, for us to access, God was working through items, right? And then Jesus came once and for all to destroy that thing. But this lets us know why in witchcraft, they still have to use items because they have no Jesus. They have no redeemer. So this is why they say, get a cauldron, get two liters of oil, get a toenail from a bat, an uh, eyelash of a donkey, stick it in a pot, spin it around, stir it around, light that thing up, wave your magic wand over it, and then a demon's going to operate on your behalf because they have no redeemer. So they're still stuck in old covenant. So they're still stuck on using items. But you have access because you have Jesus Christ. So you have the access to say, I don't need an item. I don't need, I don't need a prayer cloth. I don't need a shawl. I don't need nothing. All I need is the name of Jesus Christ to break the bondage of hell. And the beautiful part is we all have access.